I'm Dr. William Richardson from the American Clinics for Preventive Medicine, ACPM.net. And today I want to talk to you about high blood pressure, the medications used to manage it from the medical world, and how to naturally treat it, how to intertwine all that. Today I just got a call from a patient who's been on dialysis for about a year. And he's on dialysis because he hadn't checked his blood pressure for three years and ended up sick with kidney failure, causing him to vomit. So he went to the hospital. They found out his blood pressure was sky high and it hurt his kidneys. So first of all, that's why we should keep track of our blood pressure. You should get regular checkups from doctors and you can also go and measure it in the pharmacies and whatnot. A normal blood pressure is 120 over 80 or less, and an optimal blood pressure is 110 over 70 or less to an extent. So many people walking around with a blood pressure 140 over 90, but some people, like a person I saw in the intensive care unit one time or an emergency room I had to put in the intensive care unit, his blood pressure was 280 over 180. That's literally the highest blood pressure I've ever seen. And I had to treat him with medications, put him on meds, and it saved his life. Now, what we do at the American Clinics is that we will see a person, if we can avoid putting someone on blood pressure medications, we will. But if it gets up too high, it can cause a stroke, heart disease, kidney disease, and eventually congestive heart failure by wearing the heart out. So what we will do, we will change the diet, we will get people on supplements, and if necessary, medications. Now another patient called today and he was taking his medications in an inappropriate way. That is, he would take them for let's say a week and then the blood pressure would normalize. Then he would just abruptly stop then the blood pressure would go up and he'd get back on the meds and I had to let him know you have to stay on the medication and when the blood pressure is under better control, then you can wean down from it and eventually off of it. That's the goal, really. So know how to manage your blood pressure. There's a number of things that naturally lower the blood pressure. A plant-based whole foods diet, stressing uh, fruits and vegetables in the diet that are raw and fresh. Also, blueberries separately will lower the blood pressure. Dark chocolate will lower the blood pressure. Meditation, going to bed on time. Um, having a har harmonious relationship with your spouse at home. All these things help control the blood pressure and should be used simultaneously. So in conclusion, make sure you work with your doctor and work on getting off of medications, but don't just abruptly stop and use all the positive natural things and supplements and modalities that you can use to have a natural decrease in your blood pressure. This is Dr. William Richardson from the American Clinics for Preventive Medicine, acpm.net.